Okay, now I'm at the Ristretto booth, as you can see. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited, guys. I have been eyeing the Ristretto e-bikes for a few years now. I would say like two or three. And then my friend Hushman in e-bikes USA, he's had one of these at his store to show. But then there's like not really any reviews out there or anything. So I'm like, what's going on with Ristretto, right? So finally, I'm here with the experts, Hello, with our beautiful going? Italian. Are they like Italian design, Italian build? Yeah, so Ristretto is actually Italian for uh, espresso. So it's you, you get that high dose of adrenaline uh, rush of feeling when you ride this bike. So, Love you know, it. we have a little bit of a meaning behind our name. And the 512 is actually the area code for Austin, Texas. So that's our, where our current headquarters is. And our past model, the 303 FS, is uh, actually was we were founded in Denver. So the 303 FS was uh, our, our Denver edition. So uh, we kind of keep that same philosophy when it comes to our models and, and how we proceed the next uh, bike, so yeah. Oh my gosh, so everything has a meaning, right? Like... Yeah, we, we try and meet, uh, everything is, is well thought out. You know, our three pillars is best design, uh, top performance, and best technology. So, you know, we're, we're really taking every component on the bike and, and thinking it through. You know, one of the things that a lot of people say is the seat. Uh, we, we, <laughs> we really uh, thought out the seat in terms of, you know, you have to, uh, also think about you know comfortability you know it's not just about design and and, and uh, you know performance you actually have to think about the practicality of of how the bike rides and how it feels when you're riding the bike so everything we try and really think about through and, and how it's gonna feel uh, with the riders experience I love it I love it so okay so like I've said I've like known of you through actually through your um, website about Ristretto okay. but why haven't we seen you like you know youtubers reviewing them or like uh, or even people regular people making videos I'm like they're I've even gotten like a few people telling me like is it a scam like we haven't seen Ristretto anywhere so yeah I'm curious too. Yeah so that is actually one of the bigger questions that we get on a daily basis of like why are, are these bikes not uh, online or doing any reviews but yes. uh, so these bikes are actually very limited edition this specific bike right here there's only a hundred of them on the uh, in the world and uh, this color is actually going to be never never reproduced again so when we when we produce bikes these are really thought out limited edition bikes that you really feel special when you receive one and uh, actually we do batches of bikes so the first hundred of bikes uh, first hundred bikes uh, that we just started delivering last month um, we're really excited about it's been a long journey over two years and yeah, now that we're yeah. finally delivering you will start to see reviews online and we're our, our next batch of bikes we have a, a batch of 300 bikes coming in September so people that order it will be able to get it in September if they haven't already gotten their their bike yet so uh, over the next few months you guys will see, start to see reviews pop up on the uh, YouTube market and, and just overall platform so um, that's actually one of the, the questions that we really try and take into consideration and with this batch of bikes coming in September we are going to be allocating it towards reviews so you guys can get a personal opinion raw reviews and something that's not reproduced by our company so that's one of the company or questions that we, we really try and focus on so okay okay so and then yeah uh, if you just hop in line that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm uh, signed up. Yeah, he'll, uh, this is the line Sir. right there. Yeah, they'll, uh, okay. they'll get you. Okay, guys, yeah. little interruption. We'll be back. All right, guys, we got interrupted by a very unkind guy, but we're back. <laughs> so, okay, so from what you explained is that, okay, it's like they're very limited edition, but you guys are going to be ramping up on the on the building so that yeah so specifically the 512 there's only going to be 800 made um so right now we're doing uh the first batch was 100 bikes and then we're getting in at september will be another batch of bikes and that's going to be allocated towards reviews uh the customers that are waiting and also uh dealers that can also be uh, local to your area so you don't have to ship it towards you so um yeah we're we're, we're trying to focus on uh making sure that each quality or the quality of the bike is, is up to our standards and make sure that you know everything that we promise is, is, is kept. So. Okay, okay, great. Okay, now, and I'm sure all of you guys, you wanna hear about the specs, and after we know about the specs, I'm gonna go and take it out on a test ride. So yeah, please tell us. Yeah, what's what size motor is it? Okay. Cool. Oh, it's a, so, it's a... <laughs> so the the motor is a CYC X1 Pro Gen 4 motor. Uh, this is designed to be specifically put on this frame, so you can see the frame fits perfectly around the motor. Yeah. Um, this is a 5,000 watt peaking motor. Um, you know, they're gonna get a lot of power, a lot of torque. Uh, 
to put a number on that, you're bulking about 250 newton meters of torque on the on the crank, um, which is very powerful for an e-bike. And then this is a class two e-bike uh, set to 28 miles an hour, but we all do offer race mode, which is for not designed for prop private property only. Uh, and that's your, your 40 miles an hour right there. So. 40 miles an hour. You can unlock it and go we that feet. Love those speeds, guys. <laughs> so you're you're looking at a very powerful, uh, very sturdy and, and uh, look cool looking bike. That's that's pretty much you know our main focus to getting you guys on the road. So uh, you notice the the color is is our green Shusterman colorway, but this color was actually sold out already. So you can't get this specific color. But wow. if you do go out on our website, we do have four new colors for you to choose from. So when you do order a Shredo 512, you get a very limited edition bike uh, that you'd be proud to own. Okay, so what's the size of this ginormous battery here? So the, the battery is the Catalina battery pack. You're looking at about a 30 amp hour, 52 volt battery pack surrounded by an alu uh, aluminum alloy casing. Okay. Uh, we do use Samsung 50 E cell. So you're getting a very, very good uh, battery that is, you, you don't have to worry about catching on fire uh, or, or you know damaging the home that you, you kept it in. So high uh, discharge cells, right? Yeah, high discharge, you know, full BMS fuse mode uh, to keep you guys safe at home. So uh, charge time is about four to five hours, We but we do offer uh, what we call our our fast charger which is about 20 to 30 minutes okay okay wow what <laughs> i've never heard of that okay guys so this is as you can see obviously this is a moped style e-bike this is the most gorgeous e-bike i have ever seen both online and in person it is just ever since i saw it the first time years ago wow it, it looks so polished it looks so refined and I just can't wait to try it. Well, look, can you tell us about the suspensions a little bit? That This looks so beefy. Coil yeah, so, springs. So this is actually our company, uh, Rocco Suspension. Okay. Uh, it's both dual suspension in the rear and dual suspension in the front. Okay. Uh, both are fully adjustable to your liking. So you, whatever preference that you have in suspension, you're able to fully adjust that to your liking and, and riding style. So okay. we did take that into account when we were designing this bike. Uh, these are DNM front, dual front fork suspensions. So, you know, top of the line components on everything on this bike and, and, and fully thought out. So uh, wow. you're looking also about a hundred range of, of, you're looking about a hundred uh, miles of range in pedal assist and then about 40 to 50 in full throttle uh, if you're gunning it the whole way. So uh, pretty much <laughs> any, any distance that you want to go, it can take you there. Oh my God. Okay, so obviously this is a, a, a mid-drive motor, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, but it's, it looks like a very refined mid-drive motor, right? Like it's like more expensive than like the CYS X or whatever, right? Yeah, so CYC. Uh, CYC. So this Sorry. is designed by CYC and, you know, this has been through years of testing. And at this point, we, we've narrowed down uh, pretty much all of the flaws in the bikes and re tune those to uh, make the bike pretty much a perfect bike for you guys. And uh, although, you know, it's, it's, it's impossible to be perfect, I think everything that we've well thought out and tested has pretty much been, been discovered and, and uh, fixed in the full production bike. So you're okay. pretty much getting a perfect bike when you when it receives. Well, and that's why you're, you have been taking your bike, <clears throat> taking the time and bringing it like to market, to the mass market, exactly. right? Exactly. So that makes sense. I, I like that. Instead of like, there's a lot of brands that I see, like maybe they rush into bringing the bike into the market. And then when they have their YouTubers review it, they just start, well, we start finding like a, a bunch of things like, oh my gosh, the seat or like, oh my gosh, the, the, the cadence sensor is not, or the controller is not tuned well. Um, just write all these things and then we get back to the company and then they have to make upgrades and then, right? Like that yeah. happens a lot. Yeah, so we wanted to, we wanted to mitigate just having to redefine uh, what is already made. And, you know, when you think of all the problems that can cause a bike, we, we pretty much done that scenario a thousand times and see how can we fix that and make it perfect for you guys. So uh, all of, you know, like I said, you know, bikes aren't perfect. You know, there are things nope. that are going to happen and, uh, you know, through delays of production, you know, we've, we've tried to fix all those problems in the final production. And, and like I said, we're, we're almost there and, and if not there already. So, so exciting, so exciting. And then the other thing that I like that you guys do is like they offer two different size tires, right? Like these are 20 or 24 inches. So what you guys are looking at right now is the A20. Uh, the A20 is your 20 inch wheel size. As in, and then we also offer the A24, which is your uh, 24 inch wheel size. If you're looking for a more torquey off the line quickness, 
the A20 is probably your way to go, but yep. if you're really looking for comfortability uh, at the top speed of 40 miles an hour, just because it's a little bit heavier and a bigger wheel size, the A24 is probably going to be a little bit better for those that are looking to always be at uh, 40 miles an hour and giving that, uh, that, that comfortable feeling when you're, when you're at the top of the speed. So. Yeah, well, I, I think I want to try the, the 24. I'm really digging that bike because I, you know, the typical 20 or 26 inch tires. I, I just got to try a 24 inch tire for the first time, the 2 2 Seeker. And uh, I'm kind of in love with that size. I think it's like a great compromise between the two. Yeah. Right? Uh our last, our last bike was uh, the 303 FS was 26 inches and that was a little bit tall for you know a lot of people so we've yep. decided to yep. uh, make it more available to those like uh, family members, kids and, and people that are you know at, at a kind of sweet spot. Me personally I'm six foot so I'm at the sweet spot of, of being able to use both but yep. me personally yep. I like the A24 just because of how big it is and, yep. and how much I can kind of uh, you know you maneuver through traffic and stuff like that so I think the A24 is, is really good sweet spot if you're in the six foot you know you know, you can pick and choose if you're a little bit shorter or a little bit taller. I think there, there's still uh, room. If you're a little bit shorter, you can still go with the A24 and you'd still be very comfortable on it. So it's not like if you're shorter, you know, you can't get the A24. I think you're com you'd be comfortable on both bikes. So Let's go try it. Yeah, go now, try the it. only thing I'm seeing is the, the saddle. This seems really, really thin. So this is this is actually what you're looking at as a prototype model. So we do have uh, a final production model over there. Uh, wow. The reason why is, you know, we're at an expo, you know, people are trying out the bikes. So, you know, we want to make sure that all of the bikes that we are, since they're a limited edition, they're, they're kept safe. So uh, yes. these are actually the prototypes. But if we go over there, we can show you the, the final production. So what okay. you're looking at is pretty much like a 9 out of 10 final production. So. There's little minor changes that we have over there. So let's go. See you out there. Let's go ride it. Woo! I'm on the Ristretto S20. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so it's on race mode, meaning you can get up to 40 miles an hour. Obviously, we can't do that here. And uh, there's a lot of people, and it's a small track. But uh, all right. So this is the the 20 inch tire, right? So for S20, I can look. Okay, very low to the ground, but it's also a stretched out frame. So I have plenty of room between my legs and the handlebars. And then, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I have a friend here and she's cheering us on. This is the A24, okay? So oh, let's try it. Oh my gosh, I just love how it looks. I love the high-end parts they're using. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it, so it's heavy. Right now that I like leaned it a little bit, how much does it weigh? Uh, that was specifically about 95. 95 pounds, right? Yeah, you, you can feel the obviously not while riding, but like right now that I leaned yeah. it a little bit. So well, yeah, this one. For sure. Okay, I can see that. So I was just telling my, my viewers that like, I love how it fits. It's like low to the ground, but it's also like an elongated frame, right? Yeah, yeah elongated, yep. Yeah, so this can really fit all kinds of riders because a lot of the times with like moped style e-bikes, uh, they're they're always too small for taller riders. Yeah. But I don't feel like this one is. Yeah, you can also adjust the handlebars front and back. So it really just depends on oh. what type of riding style you want, and uh, oh. also the adjustable front fork suspension. So. Oh it's, my it, it gosh! It is a racer, so you can't adjust the saddle height, but I mean that's why there's two sides and you can pretty much adjust it to your life. So. I love it. Okay, the only thing I would change: twist throttle. Gotcha. Come on, thumb throttle. You, you, you can you can change it. You can change it. That's <laughs> okay. You can, you're able oh, to. I I would so change it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this bike deserves it. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Woo! Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so obviously I'm pedaling right now. <laughs> obviously, let's go a little straight away here. Let's get the pedal assist a little higher. All right. Yeah, so this is being a mid-drive motor. And it's a, it's a torque sensor too, so it needs to feel the pressure on the pedals to really go. You know, and obviously this kind of e-bikes are not meant for pedaling, but of course we have to try it but yeah i mean you can you can pedal i guess so yeah there are no gears in this one so let's start to maintain let's kick the throttle here oh i love the sound of it it's like a like a jet like a woo guys i have a thing for the sound of uh electric bike motors <laughs> and this mid-drive sounds so cool all right 
Woo! On your left. A little straight away here and then a curve. All right, we have a tight curve here. So this is a 24. The, the A20 felt really nimble. So this one doesn't feel as nimble. I mean, I can tell it's a, uh, it's a bigger wheel. I mean, bigger wheels. No, no doubt about that, guys. And uh, oh yeah, this bike is so sweet. Okay, guys, I have to say the brakes are incredible. So these are Tektra Auriga, and they're fantastic. You know, for such a heavy, powerful e-bike, these brakes are great. The throttle, that is a right thumb throttle. I really wish I had a, a twist throttle. And it's very responsive, super responsive. I mean, I, as soon as I press on it, it just goes, it takes off. It's comfortable, I like my position. It does have BMX handlebars. They're like a, a mid, they're like a mid-rise. They're not like the super tall handlebars either. But I think this, just the look, it goes like so well with this bike, okay? All right, let's tight curve right here, and then we can catch up some more speed up there. Yeah, it turns well. So, yeah, you know, this is, it's, a, it's a heavy steering, guys. It handles well in curves. I'm doing some zigzags, big curves. No problem. It's just, it's definitely heavier than other, uh, than other e bikes I've tried. Definitely heavier steering. Ooh, that lady is killing, yeah. <laughs> it's so powerful guys 5,000 watts of motor power that lady rocked I it got a little. <laughs> she rocked it big time <laughs> I'm doing the bouncing test oh my gosh the suspensions are fantastic Ooh, lots of travel so plush just like riding on a cloud I love it little guy right up, up here we're gonna pass her I'm on your left right here. Thank you, my friends. Woo! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. I wish I could have this bike on a straightaway and just, woo! You can kind of like lean down and catch some speed. Let's try the brakes, one, two, three, and brake. Yes! Oh, I love it. How was that? Amazing. Premium parts. Love the way it handles, uh, brakes. It's so powerful. I mean, up to 25 in seconds. Nice. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. I how want you it. How would you like to compare with the A20? So A20 is definitely more nimble, which makes sense, right? For this different size tires. Um, yeah, more nimble, more, more maneuverable. This one has a heavier steering, normal. And uh, yeah, feels heavier just to like, uh, to hop on. But they have so much power, and I, I, the choice of brakes for such a powerful, heavy machine, I think it's, it's great. Tires, um, I love them on turns. They're like, kind of like stick to the ground. Yeah. Glad you like it. Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>